In addition to a really authentic acoustic piano sound, many digital pianos offer a lot of extra features to enhance the playing and make playing more fun. But if you're only used to an acoustic piano, reading a specification sheet for a digital piano might be a bit baffling. So in this video, we're going to look at the common extra features and functions that you'll find on most digital pianos, starting with the additional sounds. Many digital pianos offer additional sounds or additional voices that are very suitable for playing different styles of music. So for example, you might choose to have an electric piano sound. Or you may prefer a string sound. Or you may even prefer some synthesizer sounds for playing pop music. So with these extra sounds, you can also split the keyboard. And the splitting the keyboard means that you can have one sound in the left hand and a completely different sound in the right hand. So for example, let me press split here, you'll hear in the left, an acoustic bass with a ride cymbal, and in the right hand, a piano sound. Not only can you split the keyboard, you can also combine two sounds on top of each other, and this is called a dual function. So if I now press the two buttons here together, you'll see I've got a piano sound and a string. Some digital pianos feature auto accompaniment, and these are basically rhythm tracks with some backing as well. And basically you can control these uh, from the chords that you play in one of two ways. Firstly, you can either play the chords in your left hand and a melody in your right hand like this, or you can play normally and the piano will work out the chords from all of the notes that you are playing. Many digital pianos also have a feature called a sequencer, and a sequencer is basically a recorder that enables you to record your performance, which you can then play back and evaluate how you got on. So if I press the record button here, press play, I'll get uh, a count in. So now I can play that back. So that's a really good uh, tool for listening back to your performances and as a way of helping you to improve. And you can save multiple performances usually into the memory of the piano or you can save them, if you've got a lot of them, you can save them onto uh, an external device such as a USB key. On some digital pianos, you can also play back your favourite songs, either from uh, a mobile phone or from a USB key. So I'm going to play a song now from a USB key. Now what's really cool is you can also, on some digital pianos, use a feature called Centre Cancel, which will remove the vocal or the tune, enabling you to play along over the top. So now you can hear the vocal. Now I'm going to turn it off. So 
So I'm going to bring it back in. And the last thing worth mentioning is with a digital piano, it's very easy to connect it to a computer, either a Windows PC or a Mac PC. And this opens up a whole raft of possibilities in terms of recording directly to a computer and also for composing.